In this video, we will discuss when to stop anticoagulation before surgery. We will discuss the preoperative management of the most used antiplatelet and anticoagulation medications and their reversal agents available. Antiplatelet and anticoagulation therapy is widely used for the management of myocardial infarction, peripheral arterial disease, and stroke. It represents a key part of patients undergoing cardiac and thoracic surgery. The premature discontinuation of antiplatelet therapy can potentially expose patients to an increased risk of perioperative acute coronary syndromes, with stent thrombosis being most feared because of its highly associated morbidity and mortality. On the other hand, the perioperative use of this medication predisposes patients to perioperative bleeding, blood transfusions, and re-exploration for bleeding. Therefore, safe discontinuation and multidisciplinary team agreement are key in preventing thrombotic or bleeding complications. Although more recent meta-analyses have yielded somewhat conflicting results, continuation of existing preoperative aspirin is likely associated with a reduction in the risk of myocardial infarction, but not death. Continuation of aspirin until the time of surgery is associated with an increased risk of perioperative bleeding and transfusion although this does not appear to increase the likelihood of surgical reoperation. Patients at risk of significant bleeding, for example, redo operations or underlying bleeding discretions, may warrant individualized consideration but are underrepresented in the literature. For Plavix, the recommendation is to stop at least five days prior to surgery. Prasigro is recommended to stop for at least seven days, Decagrelor with the recommendation to stop at least five days prior to surgery. Cangrelor, the recommendation is to stop the infusion at least 60 minutes prior to surgery. Moving to anticoagulants. For heparin, the recommendation is to stop the infusion four hours prior to surgery. Bivalirudin, it is recommended to stop the infusion for at least one hour prior. The recommendation to stop warfarin is dependent on the INR. For therapeutic INR, for example, between 2 and 3, the recommendation is to stop 5 days prior to surgery. For low molecular weight heparin, in particular enoxaparin, when used as anticoagulation, is recommended to stop for 24 hours prior. The decision to bridge a patient is dependent on their CHATS fast core along with their thrombotic and bleeding risks. In general, patients who benefit from bridging are moderate to high CHATS fast scores 5 or greater with a low bleed risk and with a high thrombotic risk. The recommendation is to stop warfarin and to start them on low molecular weight heparin or unfractionated heparin three days after. Then, holding low molecular weight heparin or unfractionated heparin 24 or 4 hours prior to surgery, respectively. Due to their pharmacology, direct oral anticoagulants do not need bridging therapy. The recommendation to stop direct oral anticoagulants is based on the bleeding risk associated with surgery and the renal function. Cardiac and thoracic surgery is deemed high risk for bleeding based on STS guidelines at the exception of four gut procedures such as hiatal hernia repairs and fund application. Patients taking dabigatrin or Pradaxa may need to stop their medication at least 96 hours prior to surgery, depending on the renal function. And for patients taking apixaban or rivaroxaban, they will need to hold their medication for at least two days prior. The most common FDA-approved reversal agents are the following. Protamine sulfate for heparin, PCC, FFP, and or vitamin K for warfarin, either rosizumab for dabigatrin, or easier to remember, praxbine for pradaxa, and dexanet alpha for the 10A inhibitors such as apixaban and rivaroxaban. In conclusion, communication between cardiothoracic surgery, hematology, cardiology, anesthesiology, and critical care is of paramount importance in balancing the risk of thrombosis and bleeding in patients undergoing cardiac and thoracic surgery. Thank you for your attention.